So let's look at two more questions where we need to take a rational expression and reduce it to lowest terms. So let's just rewrite it. We have this 3x squared minus 18x is divided by x squared minus 2x minus 24. And recall that the general strategy for these is to just factor the numerator and denominator and then determine which x values need to be excluded from the domain since they'll lead to division by 0. And in the top, notice that we can pull out a greatest common factor. They each have x in it, and they're each divisible by 3. So let's pull out a 3x. We'll factor that out. Here we'd be left with just x, and dividing minus 18x by 3x, we would get minus 6. And in the denominator, we'll need to factor this as a product of two binomials, where each of these binomials has two terms. And since the coefficient on x squared is a 1, we can assume that the first term in each of these is just x, since x times x gives us x squared. And these next two terms we're trying to find, these are both going to be numbers, and they multiply to minus 24, and they add to negative 2. So let's consider what, mul what multiplies to negative 24. It could be minus 1 and 24, minus 2 and 12, minus 3 and 8, minus 4 and 6, or we can switch all the negatives. It could be 1 and minus 24, 2 and minus 12, it could be 3 and minus 8, or it can be 4 and negative 6. And from here, we just need to determine which of these pairs adds up to negative 2. And that would be our 4 and negative 6. So we have plus 4 and minus 6. So once you factor your denominator, then we can decide which x values must be excluded from the domain. So now we're answering question number 2. And we're essentially just using our zero product property. We're determining which x values would make either of these linear expressions equal to 0. Since we want the entire denominator to equal 0, or essentially we're finding which x values can't be plugged in since it would make the denominator equal to 0. And you can see here, if you plug in negative 4, that would give you 0 times negative 10, which is 0. So negative 4 is excluded. And if you plug in 6 here, you get 0 times 10, which is also equal to 0. So negative 4 and 6 need to be excluded. That answers our second question. And to simplify this to lowest terms, at this point, you just want to recognize that you have an x minus 6 up top and in the bottom. So these x minus 6 factors here, these are going to cancel each other out since something divided by itself is always equal to 1. And so our final expression, our final rational expression in lowest terms you would have 3x divided by x plus 4. So that's our final answer. And let's just do one more of these problems. And again, we'll just rewrite this and then factor the numerator and denominator. So notice the numerator is a difference of squares. It's x squared minus 1 squared. And so we can rewrite that as x minus 1 times x plus 1. So it's the first one minus the second one, ignoring the squares, multiplied by the first one plus the second one. All of this will be divided by this expression here factored. And for this one, notice that each term has a multiple of 5, or it's divisible by 5, and each term is divisible by x. So we can pull a 5x out, and here, once we factor that out, we'd be left with an x. And here, we'd just be left with 1, or positive 1. And of course, you can check all of this. Just redistribute and make sure you get back what you started with. You can do that for the top as well. And at this point, let's determine which x values need to be excluded. So it looks like if we plug in 0 here, that we'd have 0 times 1, which is 0. And if we plug in negative 1 here, we'd have 0 times by negative 5. And so 0 and negative 1 
need to be excluded from this domain, since both of those lead to division by zero, which we know is undefined. And lastly, we just need to rewrite this in lowest terms. So we need to make our cancellation. And notice you have x plus one in the top and in the bottom. So those factors will cancel and we're left with x minus one over five x. And so this will be our final answer. That is our equivalent expression in lowest terms.